Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the Jigstra's shortest path algorithm. Now, this algorithm has a wide range of applications in computer science. So, we are going to take a look at a very simple example here and we will see how this algorithm helps us in finding out the shortest path from one position to the other. So, let's take a look at the example. So, first of all, I have drawn a graph here and this graph is an undirected graph. So you can see here there are six nodes in this graph or we can say that there are six vertices in this graph. You can easily see that in these edges I have assigned some weights to these edges. So if we want to visit from node 1 or from vertex 1 to vertex 2 we will have to let it travel 7 kilometers. So let's suppose there is a man at point A or at vertex 1 and he wants to reach at vertex B. So what is the shortest path that he will follow so that he will reach uh, at the B position. So let's take a look at the Jisra shortest path algorithm. So first of all, whenever you are at any node, you are going to visit all the directly attached nodes first. So this man will go to this node because it is directly attached to 1. So when he will visit this node, he will see that the distance from the node 1 to node 2 is 7. So he is simply going, we are simply going to assign a value 7 at this node. Now after this node, we are going to visit node number 3 because it is also directly attached to this node. Now the distance between these two nodes is 9. So after visiting 3, I will assign value 9 to the node 3. Now similarly you can see that 6 is also a directly attached node to A. So we are also going to visit that. And after visiting this, we are going to assign the value. 14 here because the distance between these two nodes is 14. Now after doing this, after visiting all the corresponding nodes, we are going to mark this node from where we started as visited node. So now this node is a visited node. Now we will pick any other node which is directly attached to this node and we are going to perform the same operation. Now let's suppose the person has moved to the point or the vertex 2. Now when he will reach the vertex 2, then again he is going to take a look at all the corresponding directly attached nodes, but he will not uh, see the visited node. So the directly attached unvisited nodes are 3 and 4. So he will visit 4 here. So you can see that if he will visit 4, then what we are going to do is we are going to add the value 7 and the distance 15. So to reach 4, we are going to write 15 plus 7. We are going to write 15 plus 7 which is equals to 22. So this means that if a person wants to go from A uh, or one node to fourth node, he will have to travel 22 kilometers. Now he will go to this node, the node 3 because he is at the second node. Now after visiting third node, you can see here that 7 uh, to reach the third node 7 plus 10 the distance is 17 kilometers. So he will see that the distance is since 17 kilometers and since this unvisited node has already been assigned a value, we are going to compare with it. And whatever will be the lesser value, we are going to assign this node that value. So when we visited this node, which is node 3, we can see that 17 is greater than 9. So that means that this path will not give us the shortest route to the third node. So that's why we are going to assign this node as 9, we are going to assign the value 9. 
Now since we have visited this node, we are going to mark this as visited. Now let's move on to the another node which is 3. On moving 3, if I want to go 4, if, I, if the person wants to go to the 4th position, he will have to travel 9 plus 11 which is 20 kilometers. So to visit 4, he will have to, he, he will take 20 kilometers. So I am going to write here 20. But here you can see that the previously, that previously the 4th node was having a value 22. So we are again going to compare that. On comparison we got, we, we got to know that a path from this node to this node is 20 kilometers while from this node the path is 22 kilometers. So we are going to assign the lesser value. So after assigning the lesser value, now what I am going to do here is, since we have visited both the nodes, now we are going to pick up another node. So let's pick up the node 3. So now the person is at node 3. Now let's take a look at the corresponding attached nodes. So to visit there, we have already seen, it will take 20 kilometers. So we are going to assign, we are going to delete this node because the distance was 22 from here and the, and the shortest route to this node is 20. So now what we are going to do is, we are going to see this, this node which is 6. Now to reach from 3 to 6, uh, it will take 11 kilometers because 9 is already assigned. So 9 plus 2 is 11. So what we are going to do is, we are going to assign 11 to this node, to the 6th node. Now we have seen that the value of the 6th node was 14 previously. And this 14 value has come from this path. And since this value is greater than this, I am going to delete this path. And I will assign the value 11 to it. Now since we have visited 3rd node, I am going to mark it as visited since no more corresponding nodes are left. Now I can pick any node from these two. Let's pick up 4. So after picking up the 4th node, now our, now this man is ten, standing at the 4th node. So now this 4th node has, has a value 20. So the last node which is the B node or the 5th node which is the destination now this person easily knows that the distance between this node and this node is 6 and he has already traveled 20 kilometers. So now he will say that if he will take this path he will be able to reach B and the distance will be covered will be 26 kilometers which you can also see from here from A from 1 to 3 there was 9 from 3 to 4 it was 20 and then 6 will give us 26. So in this manner we keep on uh, doing this uh, comparison and uh, assigning the values in order to get the shortest path. So now since this man has also visited 4, we will mark this as visited. Now let's take a look at this node which is the 6th node. Now this man is at this position, 6th position and he has travelled 11 kilometers. Now to reach the destination, 11 plus 9 will give 20 kilometers. So this man will realize that if he would have taken this path, which is from 1 to 3 to 6 to 5, he will have to travel 20 kilometers, which is lesser than this path. So what he will do is, he is going to mark this route as he will, we will just cut out this route and so now we can observe that we have got 20 kilometers we have got 20 kilometers to travel from first node or A to B position so route is from 1 to 3 
it took 9 kilometers then 9 plus 2 took 11 kilometers and then similarly it took 20 kilometers so the shortest path from position a to b is 20 kilometers and you can see the path here which is from 1 to 3 to 6 to 5 and the distance is 20 kilometers which is the shortest required path.